Well, hello, glorious pirates of the interwebs, and welcome back to Atlas. Today, we're officially starting our private server series on our massive community server, the Titan Company. This is hosted by G Portal, and we have a massive server for both patrons, members, and sponsors, and members of the community. So if you're looking for an amazing private server to play on, check out the description for the rates and the password to access the server. Now, those of you that are patrons, members, and sponsors, you will have access to join the company and play with me, which is going to be a lot of fun. And having a server this size, it's going to be 500 slots, and we have quite a large server with a custom map created by G Portal. So I'm really looking forward to this and I have a feeling I'm going to have more fun with this than I'm going to have on official because eventually we'll be able to even make the map bigger if G Portal allows us to, you know, make an even larger server. My goal is to eventually have a thousand slots and be able to have like big wars and stuff like that. But right now what it is going to be is 16 servers with 30, 30 slots per server. And it's going to allow us to have a really large map. And there's a couple other people that I'm debating actually linking these servers up with to have basically a massive network so that we can all work together to have a really large community. But for now, this server is rather large and runs so, so much better than the official servers. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm really excited about this, and I'll be making a video here in the near future on how to set up your own server for Atlas with G Portal if you so desire. Um, they're definitely the best servers that I have had the privilege of using. Uh, for those of you that knew me back in my Arc days and my breeding servers, my servers would put a beating on any hardware they were on. It was ridiculous. And G Portal was actually the only server providers that I was able to run my massive ARC breeding servers on. And they're going to be the best for Atlas as well. So I'm really excited about this. And we've got all the biomes on this map. And um, I'm, I'm really excited for the future. We've maybe have some mod creators making some custom maps for us to add onto this as well so things are going to be really good we've got 2.5 gathering rates two times xp rates the days last a little bit longer and the nights a little bit faster so it's a more enjoyable experience to play oh did i just punch an elephant it's a much more enjoyable experience until you punch an elephant for no particular reason other than it seemed like a really horrible idea and you did it anyways um but i haven't actually been at this freeport and i really really like this freeport uh, so there is actually three starting zones on here. Uh, so those members of the community that are sick of the official servers, the trolling, the griefing, anything like that, feel free to join in on this server. Uh, it'll hopefully be a safe haven. Not being said, this is still a PvP server, but hopefully in the future what will happen is I'll be able to expand upon uh, the current maps and add PvP or PvP zones and PvE zones. So that way when you go into specific places, it can be like a safe haven. Um, there's going to be a lot of different things we can do for private servers. And then we're going to have mods and stuff like that. It's it's really exciting to be able to control your own MMO. And I think that's kind of what... Oh, we got Parsley here. Uh, what Wildcard or Grape Shot Studios or whatever they're called now uh, was kind of going for was allowing people to be able to build their own MMOs. And... It's, it's kind of a brilliant idea. It reminds me of like the, the massive servers that people would create in the Minecraft days. And it's just, I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. Not to say that Minecraft is dead or anything, because that game is massive. It'll be around for a long time. Um, but I'm excited for the future of Atlas. Even the official servers have been drastically improving day in and day out. And um, I'm just really excited for the future of this game. Because I love pirates. I love being a pirate, and uh, I can't wait to explore the rest of this world. This island is nice. This is like one of the coolest places I've been in. This is one of the free ports. Um, there's actually three free ports on this particular server. We've got so the snow biomes. Every single biome is in this game. Uh, let's see here. Can we craft any of the basic stuffs here for survival? Um, I believe I just need some stone. And we should be able to find stone on the beach um, so we're going to have the rest of the community joining in on this, and we'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff together, building boats, getting in big naval battles, and I think what I would like to do is maybe do PvP weekends with a reset if the community is happy with that. 
and that way we can freely just destroy each other on the weekends have a lot of fun get out some of that steam that's been pent up during the week and then after the weekend or just give it like a day and then we reset back to where we were before and everything goes on its merry way. That's something I'll have to talk to G Portal about if we can actually do that. Because this is a whole bunch of different servers that are synced up together in one. But I'm definitely... Where there's a will, there's a way. And uh, if we can find a way to give those hardcore griefers some satisfaction so they don't spend their entire life griefing, that's going to make the community a better place. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that. And if you want to see more of these... This... Uh, these... This pirate... Private Pirate Survival series on the channel. Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to fondle that like button a little bit. It really helps me out uh, when we start a new series if it's something that you guys actually want to see continued. We got the basics here, and we might be able to craft... Ah, we need more stone. Time to punch some rocks to get stone, because that makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Oh, man, look at this rhino. If only there were some damn turnips here so I could tame it. It's a level one... Rhino to tame, so we have to bola it and then uh, knock, basically knock it out. We got to get it low health, bola it, and then stick turnips in its mouth, and that's how we tame it. Elephants here. This island is awesome. I like it here. We finally got our pickaxe, though, and now we just need to smack some rocks. Uh, so this is kind of just the basics, and we should be able to get a raft today and start exploring to the island we actually want to get. Now, I don't know how everything's been randomized as far as that goes, since, um, but I do have a map in our actual Discord to show exactly how everything should be planned out. But I'm not exactly sure where I want to live. Do I want to live in the snow biome? Do I want to live? I kind of want to live in a tropical area like this. I, I quite like this island, and if I can find one like this that's not a free port to live at, I would be very, very happy. Now, thankfully, I've spent quite a bit of time on the PvP server already and made a ton of progress. We actually finished a Brigantine today, which was awesome. It's just a massive, amazing boat. So I know exactly what I need to do to get off the Freeport. But for those of you just getting started, um, I have increased the levels that you can get at a Freeport. Traditionally, on the official servers, you can get up to level uh, 8 in a free port uh, but here you can get up to level 15 so you can have a little bit more of a relaxing time before braving the wild wild ocean and um it's gonna make your life a little bit easier having some higher levels and pumping stuff into the basically pumping your stats into the right allocations and we should be able to get treasure maps too on our way which aren't working well which weren't working on the official servers when they first launch. But that also means we've got Army of the Damned available too. So there is a treasure map right down here. <gasps> it's the Chocobo. Oh my goodness. I need to tame one of these so very, very badly. Uh, but you will be able to find these treasure maps floating around. Which is how you get money to buy crew, which you can use as pack mules. They can man your boats and stuff like that and protect your bases. So they come in really, really handy. I don't know how to tame one of these chickens, but I desperately want one. They're so quick. What are they called? An ostrich. It's definitely a chocobo. You can't tell me that's not a chocobo. Birds. Oh, I just wanted to kill one of you stupid things. And then, oh, no, I hit a... I hit an ostrich. Oh, it's a big disaster. Oh, maybe not that big of a disaster. Oh, it's definitely a big disaster now. No, 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 no. Bad. Big mistake. Kill. Oh, my God. We're going to live. Just got to kill the stupid seagull. Oh, my God. No, there's more seagulls. Stop it. Oh, oh death by seagulls is bad. One more hit. Oh, I lived. Oh, it's a Christmas miracle! That is... Oh my god, I lived! Oh, please, please... Regen your stamina. Oh my god. I almost killed myself from punching things when I didn't have stamina. Oh, that could have been so bad. <laughs> that escalated from killing one stupid little seagull to, like, the whole area's worth of birds just trying to molest me. I need to eat something. Oh my god. Sweet baby beluga whale. That was... That was close. Okay, we're regening health. I'm gonna pump something into weight. I'm gonna save my points, because 
I am playing solo right now and I don't have a community. Well, I have, obviously my community will be joining at some point. Can I please generate some stamina here so I can get this hide that I so desperately need to get the hell off this island? Well, we're only level four and, you know, I've grown tired. I have not grown tired of this island, actually. I really like it, but I am high enough level or have gathered enough materials to buy our first raft. And this is what we need to move on to other races or other places. Um, so this is going to be the S. Now, uh, what should I call this? There we go. DSS time and money because we just need time and money and one day we'll get to Tahiti. So we've got quite a few islands that we can go to right now and I kind of know where I want to be. And we've got a group of people already at um, B3. So I'm going to see if I can get there right now. Um, so these are gridded out like uh, uh, Alpha through Delta uh, through 4. So it's a, it's a 4 by 4 map consisting of 16 servers and we've got some people that have already gotten to b3 so i'm gonna head over to there and these are my patrons i believe i believe they're all my patrons that are over there i don't know how many there are but they are there so i figured i'd pay them a visit get the company actually started and we're gonna crash into these rocks because i'm a professional sailor now we can find some cool things while sailing now that weren't available on the private servers because they just weren't working. And that's going to be like uh, treasure chests floating out in the water. Um, so we can get blueprints, we can get gold from this, so experience. Um, I believe it's pretty about it. Maybe weapons and stuff? I'm not 100% sure. I haven't really picked any up. I've gotten one on the official server while we were treasure hunting the other day. Oh, we're going to go headlong into that rock. Oh my god. We're alive. Everything's fine. How much damage do we take? Quite a bit of damage. Sweet baby Jesus. All right. So, <laughs> I believe we just need to go in a that way direction. So, <laughs> that's what I'm going to work on doing right now. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it to there without too much of an issue. I don't know if we're going to encounter some ang... Oh, look at all the treasure maps right here. Jesus. Actually, do I have any treasure maps for B3 by chance? I've got C2, C3, and A1. A1's really far away. I gotta orient myself and figure out where the hell I even am. Oh man, we got ourselves a ship of the damned, and I believe there it is right there. I, I think that's called like Floatsum or something like that. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know words very well. Oh, is this thing actually coming for me? They're not supposed to aggro rafts, but that thing sure looks like it's coming for me. Okay, no, it's just turning around. Thank God. See, so yeah, what is what is this stuff called? Oh God! Stop! 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 Did I? I just ran it over. Jesus! And then we need to close sails quick. Did I kill it? I hope not. There's dolphins around here. I think since I ran it over, it destroyed it. Man, that sucks. That was the first one I've, I've found by myself, and I, I ran it over and didn't get to get the fat loots inside of it. That makes me a super sad panda. Wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. I found a purple one, which is better than the one we had. That's a level 5 ship of the damned. 35,000 XP? That doesn't... Is that 35,000 health on that boat? That cannot be right. 35... Well... That's 34,500 is what it was. That's... That's stupid. That cannot be right for a level 5 ship. Uh, let's see here. Access inventory. So what do we got in here? We got a pillar blueprint. Some acai berries. An ale consumable. Alcohol based. Very nice. Oh, five gold coins. I could get my own crew member. According, uh, accordion uh, of sea and sails medium ammo. So you use those to play songs with the accordion. I'm actually going to go... Bleh, I was thinking of going back and getting a crew member, because then I can use it as weight. Um, but I might just, I might wait and um, and come back. I can always come back, because it's not like we're going to be terribly far from the Freeport this time. Oh, it's a dolphin. Thank God. I thought something absolutely horrible was going <laughs> to was gonna befall us here for a second. Oh, oh, maybe those are sharks right there. Well, we decided to change course, and we're heading to this big island out in, uh, I believe it's, what is this, uh, C3? Or D3, actually. It's a big island. 
And I figure since we're going to have a large company, we're going to take one of these large islands. Now, I don't know fully if it's got all the resources, but we are going to head there. We're going to get the company started. Going to get some of the basics going. And we're going to probably do an episode recording the specific, like exploring the island, see, seeing everything that it's gotten to offer. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more private server stuff for Atlas, let me know in the comments below. And... Show your support and fondle that like button if you so desire. It really helps out. And if you're looking for a private server, feel free to check out the information in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one.